So how about the Rail Splitters, right? Aren't they a great band uh, from uh, Colorado, one of my favorite progressive bluegrass bands touring right now. Uh, they, they travel around with their dog, Skippy. Uh, they're, they're great people. I saw them at the Purple Fiddle a few months ago, and it was just an awesome time. Go see them live if you get the chance. Uh, I really recommend all three of their albums. Their latest release, Jump In, is phenomenal. Uh, so that was the last song, but before that, we started with Driftwood, who, you know, another great band to catch at the Purple Fiddle or wherever you see them. After that, Green Sky, Bluegrass, Leftover Salmon, the infamous String Dusters. So those are the, the three biggest bands in the jam band grass land scene, I think. Uh, like, like it when they all play Del Fest or... Whenever they're playing any venue around, I just saw the infamous String Dusters at uh, the Rams Head Live in Baltimore, and that was a great show. And then I saw uh, the Leftover Salmon playing at Gypsy Sally's in D.C. They did an intimate living room show. Uh, speaking of D.C., uh, next year, uh, Green Sky Bluegrass is doing two nights, one at the 930 Club, and the next one at the brand new venue called Anthem. Uh, it's, a, it's a big place, and there's going to be a lot of Green Sky Bluegrass heads there, and it's going to be a pretty exciting night. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, I picked a song off their most recent album, Living Over. I think it's a good job of demonstrating what they do best, songwriting, jamming out a little bit with the Dobro, with Anders. Uh, they, they're, they're a great band, uh, and they I give them all the credit of the world. They, they should be at the top of this game right now. Uh, and the band that's been at the top of the jam grass scene for decades and decades now is Leftover Salmon. And uh, High Country is one of those songs that it's just fun. It, it shows the kind of bluegrassy side of them that I really love. Uh, it's hard driving and fun. And that's, that's really what I love about Salmon, hard driving and fun. Um, after that, in from the String Dusters with Andy Falco, the guitarist song 1901, A Canyon Odyssey. I like the Kubrick reference in the title. I like the fact that it's a uh, song about water management out west, about two guys uh, exploring a canyon, and it's an adventure song, but both of them survive, which is very rare for a bluegrass adventure song. Uh, and it, it's got this guitar writing that sounds almost like something Tony Rice could have written, so I love that too. I, I love I love that whole album of the Dusters, Laws of Gravity. Uh, and and they're another one. If you can see them live, there's there's nothing like it. Their albums are close, but download one of Drew Becker's shows online. He he tapes all their stuff. He's their uh, sound engineer. He's a Cumberland boy. He's a good good dude. Uh, and he he puts every show online at, on Nugs.net. The Dusters are on there, and you can you can get downloads cards at their shows. I know I bought a couple the other night. And I plan on reliving a bunch of these nights and, and just rocking out with the dusters for a couple of hours through my headphones. It's a really fun thing to do. And I hope everybody takes advantage of that because it's really cool. After that, we had Strength in Numbers, uh, a bluegrass super group from the late 90s, uh, comprised of Mark O'Connor, Bella Fleck, Sam Bush, Edgar Meyer, and Jerry Douglas. They're one of those things that happens once, you know, that... They, did, they didn't stick around long. They have this album called The Telluride Sessions that is one of the best things ever recorded, probably. Uh, this song, Slopes, is uh, one of my favorites off of it. Uh, it's one that lives today through the John Stickley Trio, who still play it, uh, and actually Mark O'Connor's O'Connor Family Band, an incredible band he has going right now. Uh, he's actually started busting that out. He went about 25 years, maybe, without playing any guitar, just playing fiddle. Uh, and he started playing guitar again, and and, and slow Lopes is one of the choices that he brings out, and it's it's such a fun song. Uh, if you get a chance to see Mark O'Connor and the O'Connor Band or John Stickley Trio, uh, listen for Slopes. It's 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 one of the best. Uh, so after that, uh, to com contrast the, the 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 smoothness that is Slopes and Strength in Numbers with uh, the grittiness and the greatness that is Larry Keel. Larry and Jenny are great. They're from Virginia. They tour around with Jared Poole, the mandolin player. This is one of Larry's older songs, though. It's a song he wrote, a song Del McCurry has recorded. Um, it's, it's, it's a song that sums up life in the mountains. Growing up in Cumberland, I think having the mountains around us is, is one of the best parts of living here. And there's something different about the people that live near the mountains, and I think that has a lot to do with this music that we're listening to today. Uh, a lot of it comes from the mountains, and, and I'm, I'm glad we're representing it with songs like Mountain Song and, and High on a Mountain, you know, stuff like that. Uh, really speaks to me. I think it speaks to a lot of people that 
grew up in these kind of places and a lot of people that just wish they grew up in these kind of places you know uh, I know a lot of people that move from the city and, and you know they love being close to all these sorts of things so it, it's it's a music that celebrates it and uh, I like celebrating that too uh, another mountain band is, is, is this the last band we just heard, uh, the Rail Splitters. They're from Colorado, Boulder, I believe. Uh, and, and they're a band that shows off the diversity in music. Um, uh, their, their lead singer, uh, Lauren Stovall, she, uh, she writes songs that speak from a female perspective that, uh, is oftentimes missed in a lot of this kind of music. And, uh, she speaks about real life, and uh, I, I encourage everyone to listen to her songs and her lyrics and, and think about what they're about and what they mean. And um, this next group of songs is starting out by somebody else who did that historically. Her name's Ola Bell Reed. Uh, she was from North Carolina and then moved to Southern Maryland. Uh, and with a bluegrass career, you know, she uh, had a bluegrass festival for a long time in Rising Sun, Maryland. And, and she's a legend of bluegrass music. Uh, she's a legend of the state of Maryland. And she's got several songs. Um, this one she wrote, I, uh, High on a Mountain. And it's it's one of my favorite songs. And then towards the end of this set, uh, we'll have another one of her songs sung by Mr. Dale McCurry. And um, Dale and, and Tim O'Brien have done a great job of, of making sure her legacy is kept alive. And I thank them both for that. Uh, and uh, I like to try to do that going forward too. Uh, so to speaking to Tim O'Brien, we got a couple songs from him going forward too. Some, some McCurries, some Cumberland stuff. Thanks for hanging around. Uh, we got one more great set of music, and then I'll I'll, I'll say goodbye, and then thanks a lot. Del yeah.